Hello, welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you how the cast of the Hajj Apparel 1967 has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1967 and how they are now in 2022 compared to when they were on the show. Alright, let's go. Cameron Mitchell In the movie, he plays Bob Cannon. He was 49 years old in 1967. It was with great sadness that Mitchell died of lung cancer on July 6, 1994 in Pacific Palisades, California at the age of 75. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened up on the hill. I did forget it. <laughs> What's an uncle for if you can't kick him around now and then? <laughs> I know, but... No, I said, don't worry. He changed the angle. So in that scene in the bus, a Zimmer. Leif Erikson. In the movie, he plays Big John Cannon. In 1967, he was 56 years old, and it was with great sadness that Erikson died of cancer in Pensacola, Florida, on January 29, 1986, aged 74. Care to think about Emily? I don't want him to love me. I want him to survive. I want him to know how hard. <laughs> Survive on besides toughness. There's... Linda Crystal. In the movie, she plays Victoria Cannon. She was 36 years old in 1967, and it was with great sadness that Crystal passed away at her home in Beverly Hills, California, on June 27, 2020, aged 89. Marriage contains its own promise, John. May I call you John now? You may call me anything you wish, Mrs. Cannon. Turn on Operation Prime Time, right? Oh, you said it better than I could say it. Hello, Gray. Hello, Jordan. I thought my son said you say hello. Okay. What are their names again? <laughs> Greg and Jordan. Hello, Greg. Hello, Jordan. Henry Darrow. In the movie, he plays Mano Little Montoya. In 1967, he was 34 years old, and it was with great sadness that Darrow passed away on March 14, 2021, at the age of 87. I stole your horse. Oh, that's very funny. Very funny, senor. You are the senor chemist. And uh, one teacher in particular, Mrs. Levine, called my mother in and said, uh, Henry has a facility for talking to people. Don Collier. In the movie, he plays Sam Butler. In 1967, he was 39 years old, and it was with great sadness that he died of lung cancer in Harrisburg, Kentucky on September 13, 2021, at the age of 92. I, uh, Alto, I really don't think I have to tell you anything. Huh? I didn't come along. I should be here, and I, I want to apologize for the way I'm dressed. I thought this was just going to be a recording. I didn't know you were going to have cameras. I said, Walter. Bob Hoy. In the movie, he plays Joe Butler. In 1967, he was 40 years old and was with great sadness that he passed away on February 8th. Hey, that's right, Joe. Yeah. We're running a ranch, not a tea party. That'd be right, too, Joe. Wouldn't you say the foreman power? He was. What do y'all look? Ted Marklin. In the movie, he plays Reno. In 1967, he was 34 years old, and sadly he passed away on December 18, 2011, at the age of 87. Whoa, huh? Whoa, honey. Oh, not what? Prettiest come. thing I've seen in a long time. No. Yeah, let me show you how to do that. Come here, baby. Mark Slade. In the movie, he plays Billy Blue Cannon. In 1967, was 28 years old and now he's 83 years old john cannon up on my feet my own two feet i ain't ever gonna lean on you again frank silvera in the movie he plays don sebastian montoya he was 53 years old in 1967 and sadly silvera was killed on june 11 1970 
after accidentally electrocuting herself while repairing a garbage disposal in her kitchen sink. He's 55 years old. Meant that I saw you. Now that we'll have to wait, at least until after supper. Rodolfo Acosta. In the movie, he plays Vaquero. He was 47 years old in 1967 and sadly passed away on November 7th, 1974, at the age of 54. Claims this land. His men came and steal your cattle two days ago. You must leave here, senor. Montoya is very strong. And the Apache very strong. Henry Wills. In the movie, he plays Tommy. In 1967, he was 46 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on September 15, 1994, at the age of 73. <laughs> oh no. No, I ain't selling no two dollars and ninety cents worth of chips. Either you come up with some real money or you're out of the game. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.